take it. Hey, Deacon. How's it going, Buzz? Probably draining a lot of gas riding the broken road. Need fuel? Sure. All right. I'm here if you need me, man. See ya, Buzz. Hey, Ricky. What's up? Mitchell and a couple guys were on a run northwest of here when they were hit by a group of drifters. They tracked them back to a camp north of Milakwa Lake. Okay, so Mitchell and the others, they didn't take them out? They're not drifters, Deke. And Mitchell's just a kid. I don't even know if he can, if he can use a gun. What the hell are they doing out in this shit? Look, I need you to do this. Lost Lake needs you. Okay, okay. Great, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Deke. Lake. Yeah, there's a camp full of drifters here. Can you handle them? Uh, yeah, I got that sticking out. Oh, come on, time to clean this camp.
One more. north of Malacqua Lake. Thanks, Deke. I'll let Iron Mike know. I'll be sure to let Mitchell know it's safe to play outside again. He's just a kid, Deke. Yeah, well, if he wants to live long enough to become an adult, he better start learning how to use a gun. Yeah, you're right. I'll start working with him. Thanks, Deke. I never knew that. This is Lost Lake. Come in. Hey, Mike. What's up? Ricky told me you took care of that drifter camp north of Malacqua Lake. Yeah, they won't uh, be bothering us anymore. Hey, Mike, that kid, Mitchell, he really shouldn't be going out on runs unless he can take care of himself. Yeah. God damn it. I'll take care of him. Uh, good choice. <laughs> yep. Good one. Yep. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. Good to see you, Deke. Buzz. I can fill your bike up. Probably need it. They can never go wrong with a tuna. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Let's see what the old man's got to say.
You know a way over the Tielson Pass. He told me once that I... I'd... told you nothing. Go on, oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done! After everything I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's camp, on. the things that you, you get did... Out you get out of here! You leave me! Listen to me! What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? That I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved, Mike. That's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass, you don't come back. All right, you promised me you don't come back. I got you. Shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer. Shit. Loser, I, I... Uh -huh. Huh. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Will belongs to them now. We'll survive. Yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it while we still wore the colors. All this time out in the freak show and shit like this didn't matter anymore. Uh, yeah, but I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. The, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> when we rode out of farewell. Without Sarah, without Jack, or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Except this. Got a nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you'll find her. Deke, you ready? Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say.
Hey. Her Big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. Now that I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us. Right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us? Campers, yeah? You go, and you find your woman. You know. Hey, you know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're, you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. Ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Come on, this way. Okay, I'm following you. Got fishing once before, you know. Oh shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. That sounds like Jack. Oh, you ran a pretty tight club. Or you boys raised some hell back in the day. I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. It's not murder if they shoot at you first. Summer? A few. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway be bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow, floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. A trail of colorful ants from LA to farewell to here, nonstop. Glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year.
This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the Diamond Lake Valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if everyone else is dead? Lives for the living I won't be giving up On you oh. Out there the hell? Jesus, I don't know what we would have done without oh, you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, hey okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Uh, Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> What? What the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. Freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Following you. Squatters out here the past few weeks. 
Patrol picks you up, could be trouble. Okay, got it. So, uh, the shoots county militia? Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute, and yes, sir, I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? You camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Yeah, okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that we were about? Well, you can forget it. Colonel's got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fratern, fraternizing. <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, follow orders, nobody messes with you. Women same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not... Oh. Listen, I, I'm just... I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake. They would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. It's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh... Do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh... From the refugee camp? Maybe. Like I said, it's a big for the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is it. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Port. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Are well, you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. So, I've been drifting. Hard to say. Uh, you lose track of time out there, you know. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ammo. Well, there was a couple of camps I used to do runs for. Bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks? Or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Well, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're overrun. Uh... Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun? <laughs> uh, yeah. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Go, go, go! You gotta move your ass! Here. Take this. Militia script. Camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Jesus. 
Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. Very militia to me. No, nah, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John. Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You Wade. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, <laughs> uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday, okay, yesterday. I've been, I've been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that look like this around here? Uh, nah, man, ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man, they're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah, come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. What's up? She wouldn't be in the mechanics area. She never knew a wrench from a screwdriver. Maybe in here. Nope, not here. Cute drawings. Oh, God. I'm glad Sarah and I never had kids. Losing them must have been... Yeah. Check this one. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Damn it, I should not hear either. You feeling any better? That's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but. Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Not could it? St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Why? We're gonna 
gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep. You know your freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? War? You've been out in the ship. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's going to take way more than an army. We have a plan. The Colonel lets you join. We'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake, you asked about survivors. Are you looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but... Not this far. No bounty's worth that. This is it. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh... Vasquez. How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? Because Vasquez came out here for a reason, I can't track him from the bike. God. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. 